How did military personnel move from this way of camouflage to this way of camouflage? We're gonna start first by telling you from where camouflage started. Camouflage is a technique used by many animals to blend in with their surroundings. They try to avoid detection by predators. In this video, we will explore the different camouflage techniques used by animals as well as how humans took it and used it for military camouflages. And after explaining the history and how humans took it, I'm gonna give you some operations where camouflage was critical. Welcome again to Columbus Perspective and I hope you find this video interesting. So we're gonna start to talk about four different animals that they use camouflage and how the human being took advantage of them and learned to use their techniques. Let's begin. The first animal we're gonna talk about is one of the most well-known animals that use camouflage and it's the chameleon. Chameleons can change the color of their skin to match their surroundings, making it absolutely difficult for predators to spot them. We're not gonna take too much time between one animal and the other because we have a lot of things to talk about. So we're gonna move to another animal that uses camouflage and it's the leaf-tailed cat. This unique creature has a body shape and a coloration. I know it's ugly, but it's weird that allows it to blend in perfectly with the tree trunks it lives on. Let's go to other camouflage techniques or other animals. Instead of blending in with their surroundings, they use their coloration to mimic the environment they live in. For example, the cutest animal that you all think is cute, it's not. It's very dangerous and it's called the polar bear. The polar bear's white fur helps it blend in in the snow, making it harder for prey to spot them. So they can just jump in and kill what they need to kill. Now moving on from land to sea, we have the octopuses. They are also expert at camouflage. They can change the color and texture of their skin to match the surrounding environment. Now let's see how did the humans took advantage of them and learn the right way of camouflage. Now because the humans are smarter than animals, they were able to develop their own camouflage techniques. Now who uses the camouflage? Two kinds of people. Or military personnel or hunters. They use camouflage clothing and gear to blend in with their surroundings. The most famous camouflage gear that the humans have is the ghillie suit. It's a type of camouflage clothing worn by special snipers that covers their body with natural materials such as twigs, leaves, and grass. Now, the humans didn't apply camouflage only on clothing. They applied it on vehicles and buildings. For example, in World War II, the British military used a technique called dazzle camouflage. So the purpose of this technique was to make it difficult for enemy ships to accurately target them. It consisted of bold geometric patterns. It was painted on the ships to break up their shape and confuse the enemy. Camouflage is an incredible adaptation that allows animals to thrive in their natural habitats. And humans have also harnessed this technique for their own purposes. Now, let's get to the good part. Where did the camouflage play a major role in many military operations throughout the city? I'm gonna give you some examples. Let's go back to the Second World War where a lot of things and a lot of techniques were still in progress. The Battle of Stalingrad. During the Battle of Stalingrad in World War II, both the Nazis and the Soviet Union used camouflage techniques. The Germans started using camouflage netting to conceal their tanks and artillery. But, on the other hand, the Soviets used natural cover like trees and drops. A second operation where the camouflage played a major role was the invasion of Normandy. It was a critical military operation that relied heavily on camouflage. But not the same camouflage that was used in the Battle of Stalingrad. They made fake planes, fake tanks and other equipment to 
deceived the Germans into thinking that the attack would happen in another place. Now, in my opinion, this operation had the most use of camouflage, which was the Vietnamese War. The techniques that were used in Vietnam were epic. They were so hard to detect, which made the US troops' lives a living hell. Now, for more details, you could go and watch our video, The Vietnamese War, which we detailed every single step of the way what happened during the war. Now, guys, we reached the end of our video. So, as a conclusion, in each of these conflicts, camouflage played a critical role in allowing one side to gain a tactical advantage over the other, like the Vietnamese War, for example. We have the Gulf War as well, we didn't talk about it, but we did another video about it. We explained what happened during the Gulf War. So, without camouflage, many of these military operations may had very different outcomes. I really hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, like, subscribe, and if you have any more camouflage techniques to share, listen in the comments below. Thank you for watching.